We're also looking at a potential upset, which the the uh, viewers can't see, but oh, never mind. Looks like he's bringing it back. Oh, yeah, see that. Is that Houdini versus Austin? Uh, Austin yeah. I don't he's know. He's really good. He's really good. Yeah. He's really good. So. He beat Sea Carrot, which was considered an upset as well. Uh, yeah. PA Marth. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into this stuff. Return it's Straw Hat versus Straw Hat. Oh, no, it's not. Crouching is going to be your best friend in this matchup, but if you do like a down tilt, um, Snake kind of like hikes his body up a little bit, which uh, does allow Sephiroth to get the uh, side beat. So that only works. Uh, you can only crouch under that if you're not doing a move. This matchup is going to come at a lot of like how well a hunter can force his trades and how well all SD The thing about this matchup is like I feel like on paper Sephiroth should like kind of win. Snake doesn't really get in too well. Sephiroth up air is huge and covers and knocks Snake out of Cypher and covers a lot. But sometimes Sephiroth just like don't play the matchup correctly and then they die at like. I mean, um, one thing I've, I feel like trading with grenades is probably huge because like it's so bad for Sephiroth. Yeah, probably. like. Like, look how much farther he's went right there. Yup. There's a couple good parries like this. Like, I mean, yeah, Hunter's down. Stock is yeah, speed, but he's looking like he's picking up speed now. I also... Am, I think... I need a lab more, but I'm... Oh, oh no. He's getting brought up bad. Well, not... Oh, no. Like, go both players and my friends. But anyway, this side. Um... So, Sephiroth can space around grenades pretty well. Because his nair is really tiny. So if he hits the top of Snake Shield and doesn't hit the grenade, he can just kind of, um, like, hit the. just do shield pressure, basically. Okay. Up tilt and offside catch is landing. We're back in neutral. When he has wing, uh, you kind of can't crouch his snake because Sephiroth always has the threat of run up down smash, which has armor. So if you're crouching and he just he does that and your instinct is to shield, like, that's a dead shield. I know that Snake down throw grants him the most uh, invincibility kind of thing, so you can use that kind of for the orbs. Is it the longest animation though? Uh, it's, it has the longest like uh, iframes on it. So like, okay. you know like sometimes like you'll see characters like Mario like yeah, back yeah. throw and like you can't hit him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, throw armor. Yeah, throw armor, throw invincibility, yeah, yeah. Snake's down throw is the longest. Oh, oh that's it. Yeah. Oh, what a call out. Um, oh, I thought that was just. I thought that was just the whole time of the throw animation until they get thrown. If there's like a specific window during each throw. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why sometimes a snake down throws you and the grenades there, you both get hit. Sometimes the opponent gets hit. Sometimes yeah. even towards the very end, the opponent has invincibility for a couple frames and snake doesn't. Interesting. So sometimes snake can get hit and the opponent won't. Yep. All right, small battlefield. Uh, I definitely a battlefield. think a smaller stage for Snake is better in this matchup. Than a bit. They both also, control space really well, but I feel like normally feel like, Snake's yeah. like battlefield a lot, but in this matchup where Sephiroth's sword is just so big and covers so much space, battlefield like you can actually kind of get trapped on the top platform. Most characters can't trap Snake on the top platform, but Sephiroth definitely can. Yeah. So, I feel like yeah, you know, I feel like you know, other characters versus like Snake on battlefield, like you get you get caught under um. Oh, that's four. One of the another thing that makes this matchup particularly difficult for Snake is um, grenade pull is obviously frame one, but he can't throw it until frame like I want to say like like 16, 17. So that is literally the perfect window for Sephiroth to side. He sees Snake. Well, you can't really react. Like you think Snake's gonna pull grenade side. Oh, sour up that kills. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it definitely is. But I mean, this is Sephiroth. He's light, and yeah. Wing isn't on deck because he has a lead, at least for the moment. I mean, you know, he's life's the meme, but like, I feel like in this matchup, that's really relevant. You know, yeah. Snake, I mean, trades aren't really good right now, but. You got Snake. Oh, oh so big. Yeah. Roll off on his it's one of those things where you just kind of have to know the range of that. Respect oh, yeah. oh, shit. It looks like he tried Down. facing around and just didn't realize. He tries to keep underestimating the range. Yeah, I think he did. Oh. Now, the meme is always Sephiroth so light, but like, at the same time, an up smash is probably gonna kill. Up tilt at light is probably gonna kill. Dash attack really kills. Almost taking it. Ooh. Really good try with the um, Nikita by Hunter. Yeah, definitely trying to go for the two frame, hit him as he was grabbing ledge. 
that's something that more people need to do. They can pick up the grenade and just kind of instantly de drop it and then kind of cut that area off the snake. Oh. Ooh. I mean, we're talking about snakes up till, but I'm fairly certain Sephiroth would kill right now. And it's a, it's a really, really good land. With this much range? Ooh. And it's a good landing tool, so we'll see. Nothing oh, breaks oh, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Give him to take a little bit of a taste of his own medicine there. Hey, my words, though. I mean, he's he's a down throw up, up tilt range. I think, honestly, at this point, just up throw by itself would kill. Oh, yeah, it's another thing you can do. You can uh, just pop grenades with the side beat, and you know, you're not putting yourself at risk. Oh, there you go. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. Find that grenade straight so hit. Got to kill. Ooh, get wow. the, uh, does that, is that kind of like, um, like ZSS's where it kind of stalls her up for a little bit? It like, looks for, like, I think that's it's, what it looks like happening. Yeah, or Bowser's is a better example. Because sometimes you're, like, trying to come up Bowser, and then he'll do down air in the air, and he, like, kind of goes up. Sometimes you can, like, oh, oh we might see a comeback here. Hunter, Hunter went to stop, so. Each dubs. Let's see, these happen. You know, like Johnny Socks and Melee? Yeah, Johnny Socks. Yeah. Oh! Well, like, usual moments in South Korea. Oh! Did you forget the sweet spot there? Back to neutral. Got the uh, thing on him. Ooh, good jab. Catching Hunter. Catching up. That's all I expecting. Oh! H dub stocks? H dub stocks? Dude, they happen. Dude, that was not a grenade you wanted to get hit by. Oh! Oh! Oh, still alive. Still alive. Oh, that's scary. He might be dead. Oh, the grenade hit it, so it didn't go all the way out. Oh, that was so good. Oh, oh. and he's dead. Yeah, he looked like he finally got the momentum back. He was telling me before the set, but like he was kind of playing a lot today, so 